What's going on champs and champs? It's FireMonkey here and in today's YouTube video we have some brand new news regarding Fortnite Mares 2022 that I want to talk about with you guys. This news randomly came out earlier today which mentioned not only no brand new concept skins I'll be releasing in the item shop in two days, but also brand new zombie chickens come into the game. Now before we even talk about that though, you know this right here is one of the moments I wish I had ray tracing enabled on my computer, but of course it drops my frames down to like 10 frames per second because I just want to see the glorious reflection of like the boot most most beautiful skin in Fortnite's history, mincemeat up close and personal through that of a mirror. I mean, just look at how handsome this pumpkin pie man is. I don't even think it's a pumpkin pie, but you know what? I just wanted to say that. Anyways, with that little skit or whatever out of the way, let's go ahead and start off today's video by talking about the Concept Royale skins. So firstly, we'll be having two brand new outfits that were um, made for a March 2022 Fortnite Concept Royale contest, added to the game and released in the item shop in two item shop resets, aka October 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern time and you'll be able to pick them up. So firstly, we have the Sinister Glare outfit made by Drio, who is also known as Drio Wings on Twitter. They made their outfit and it also comes with pickaxe and a back bling. Now, of course, you'll be able to buy this in a bundle or buy, you know, the pickaxe separately. It really just depends on what you want to obtain, but that is the first Concept Royale winner for March 2022. And then the second one is the Undying Sorrow outfit made by Kitsu, who is also the person who created the Marigold outfit in Fortnite. So this is like another one of their outfits being added to the game, which is really cool to see just you know them making some more cool designs especially for Fortnite nightmares and just like the other one kitsu aka kitsun x kitsu on twitter will be having their own pickaxe and back bling to go along with the skin as well these will be releasing as of course uh, you know i think i've already mentioned it so many times now that it's probably just annoying for me to say it a third time so i'm pretty sure you know you understand when it's releasing but yeah it's really nice to see that epic games is doing this concept of royale thing and you know actually releasing the skins you know not only just to release them but giving credit to the artist doing a whole entire blog post dedicated to interviewing the artists, making sure that they got to say their thoughts and, you know, specific questions regarding the whole entire process, what they think about Fortnite, what they think about seeing their own concept skin in the game, and much, much more. And it's just nice to see Epic Games actually doing this type of community-made event where you're able just to interact with other people out there who play the game, right? Who want to have their own unique ideas put into the game. And I mean, you know, it really just makes me think in the world of like the, these specific artists, you can think of these as like their icon series skin because sure it's not labeled as an icon series skin. It just looks like a Fortnite original skin. But at the same time, it was made and designed specifically by them and they got the credit for it. So I personally consider concept skins to kind of be icon series in a way, at least in my head canon, because even though they're not in the game icon series, it was made by someone in the community and it was, you know, know made around whatever envision like vision they had specifically for it so you know what i think for kitsu Dreo, and anyone else who's ever had their own concept skin added to the game we can all believe that at least at heart they are icon series skins however on top of that the other thing that we noticed was when they released the blog post talking about you know the interview and everything they had with these two artists we saw a very nice image regarding you know the two skins however something interesting in the image was three different instances of zombie chickens these are basically chickens that had their neck kind of just gone and just was a bone and it was super weird to see right it was like a super creepy thing to see but also it matched up with some leaks recently we got from a uh, hypex over on twitter regarding zombie chickens being worked on and coming to the game so it does seem that at least by this promo image they are working on zombie chickens and even if we don't see it for Fortnite mares this time around they've pretty much finished the model right we have the image and everything we've seen it in the promo art and it's literally just a chicken that is missing a few skin pieces and and becoming a chicken on a bone. So I think that's just pretty cool and you know thought that's something I would throw in here. It's a little bit of like an extra bonus topic from the actual Drio and you know Kitsune interview. Also, I didn't even realize this, but I, I actually thought that, you know, this roof was always gone because whenever I'm over here, I always see this down here. I didn't know these actually drop down lower depending on how low the floor is. Hold on. I want to see this. How low does it go? Does it keep going downwards? Ah, oh, we got a little, like, wall here. I know this is very off topic from the actual topic or whatever, but I think we've already uncovered that. So I want to see how far down we can really make this thing go. I'm just, I, I've, I've, I've never thought about this. And this is a big drop. Yeah, look at that. It goes all the way down. I didn't know these automatically resized or anything. I literally just thought for some reason there was always just like a roof missing that was just naturally there whenever I went to this place. But yeah, look at that. They go all the way to the ground. Can I break this and make it go even further, like very slightly forwards? Oh, there's an enemy nearby. Oh, oh, that worked. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> but yeah, I actually didn't know that. That caught me so off guard. Well, hey, you know, I know someone in the comments is probably going to be like, Fire Lucky, how did you not know this? You're the Fortnite leaker. How You're supposed to know everything about the game. 
But yeah, I actually didn't know that. That's actually, that's, that's really cool. Anyways, with that said, yeah, zombie chickens are coming to the game. We're getting some new Concept Royale skins in two days. And I'm super excited just to see what Four Nightmares has to offer. Or maybe just because I want to play Horde Rush. Because right now, I just kind of want another return of LTMs, right? I've already gotten all my challenges done that I need to get done for super level variants or whatnot. So I don't really feel like there's anything for me to work towards right now. And I would just love to play some unique LTMs such as Horde Rush made by Epic Games. Because even playing creative creative mode you know there's a limit to how many things that can be done there and sometimes you know it feels like every single creative map at least for me because I like playing death runs is the same thing over and over again so I, I've just been taking a break right I've been playing some other games and stuff and I've just been kind of hopping on Fortnite to record a YouTube video and then hopping off but yeah I'm, I'm excited for Fortnite nightmares I'm excited mainly for Horde Rush to return and I'm of course excited for everything going down with these concept royale skins you know zombie chickens and whatnot hopefully it brings me back into playing the game a little bit more but you know this is just kind of like my down period right Right now where I've just been taking a little bit of a lax break from the game and just playing some other stuff so I guess for today's comment question of the day if I haven't already asked you guys what are you kind of playing right now right are you still playing Fortnite non-stop or are you playing some other games personally for me I've been playing a lot of overwatch 2 with friends and I've been thinking about starting a new no man's sky save just so I could play through no man's sky once again because I never completed the game but I had sunk so many hours into it and I absolutely love that game so I'm hoping that I'm able to do something and you know start a new save have some fun with that soon because I'm just kind of in a down period there isn't much to do with the game right now at least in my opinion now that I've already done everything and I assume if you haven't done your challenges or whatnot there's still probably a lot to do I mean of course there's also people playing save the world so I just thought I'd throw that in there as a bonus topic but with that said I'll see you champs and champions next time and thank you for as always for supporting the content I create